foot here. And I'm gonna again work with the chest and the shoulders here. So the hands are gonna come dive through the middle and I'm gonna open the uh, arms up to the side, keeping the shoulders nice and wide. So it gives me this space and then working with the ankle. Now, I can either keep using this as endurance or working as um, repetitions. So I can open up through the chest and shoulders here. They, I'm having to hold the weight of the leg here, so it is strong for endurance to keep the arms pressed out to the side, but really good for opening the chest and the shoulders and then working. Obviously, it increases your um, range of motion within your leg a little bit more. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. So you place the second foot in, press it out to the side and take the first foot out. Hands dive through and then we just point and flex through the ankle. And then just opening out through the shoulders. So we're being strong through the upper body. We've got this great range of motion happening. Being equally strong in the leg as well as that range of motion. So it's really good to build up your range of motion with your strength as well. And that's what really what you want more than anything is that your strength matches your range of motion and your range of, matches, range of motion matches your strength as well. And just take that nice and easy. Hands placed it on the side of uh, the body. Again, the fingers facing forwards or backwards. Place both legs in and then just open the chest and shoulders from here. And either just feel that as a stretch. You can flex the feet, just making sure that the heels at the other side of the hammock Either staying here, alternative is to reach forwards and through. It doesn't matter whether you reach or touch or not. If you do, you can open out with both and just have a big stretch here. Otherwise, even resting your hands down. And I'm just staying strong in my legs. So I'm really drawing up the knees, pointing and flexing through the legs here. Another great one is hands on the floor here. Open out the chest and shoulders. And just know that you can, again, turn your hands so they can be um, fingers facing all the way back, externally rotating through the shoulders, or you can have it fingers facing to the side and facing in. Just see how that feels. Open out through the chest and the shoulders and just really feel chest and shoulders are wide. So use that space, just being wide open, use your space, make yourself feel good, lift up through the crown of the head. If you want it, take weight off your hips. If that feels okay, lift your hips all the way up and forwards. And then you're going to bring that back and you can just bring it back so it's just on the floor, nice and easy here. Again, press through the hands, really keep the weight through the um, thumb and first finger. And then equally through the pinkies as well. And that helps us just work evenly through that wrist. You're just going to do two more of these. Great for opening the shoulders, but also using these extend to lift the levers. And again, I can come forwards and rest, reach or press nice and strong. Bringing that back, um, it's just one way of doing it. Like I say, there's thousands of ways to do each exercise. And um, this is slightly different uh, already than the, the one that I did in the last hour. Um, so there's just a multitude of, of ways to do all the exercises. And I'm just giving you a taster and places of where to connect with your senses. So hopefully it's a really nice workout for your body. Um, it's just you getting used to adjusting it as well. And um, the next